Okay, back to talking about the GoPro Fusion. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select all of these and I'm gonna leave the stabilization on. I'm gonna go over here to the settings and I'm gonna leave it in uh, GoPro color, which is again, it's in progress. You can go ahead and adjust things if you want to manually. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to the render queue and notice here's your pop-up. Um, and this is not the end all. Once you get this, this is really still, you can make adjustments after you add these to the render queue. For now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it Facebook, 4K, and 360 audio, which is level one spatial audio. Once you get in here, do keep in mind, you need to go to your preferences every time and change where you're putting your render files. Here, I've already created, uh, as I showed you before, I created a render files folder, and so I pointed it to that render files. I'll show you again how it's done. Here's my render files, and I select that folder. So you wanna point it there so that when they render out the, uh, the files, they all go there. Now, if you don't wanna work with Cineform, you can go ahead and have it set under Facebook 4K, it'll make it H.264. And then you have all your other variables here. If you wanna do ProRes or Cineform 422i, it, it makes an excellent, fantastic, beautiful image to work with when you're working with the Cineform or the ProRes, but they're much bigger files, and a lot of computers, if they're not set for it, they're gonna have a hard time handling it. Then all you have to do is you can render select, and you can turn off D-Warp, but I wouldn't if I were you. In most cases, D-Warp is your friend, and it'll do an excellent job. Every once in a while, you will find some strange things going on because it is an algorithm. It's not a human being making decisions based on the visual information. So you, you see, we've got these all set, and you can also go ahead and hit render all. As far as being out in the field with this baby, I've already started putting up a bunch of videos. There'll be more coming. If there's something that you'd like to see or have questions about the GoPro Fusion, please go ahead and go to GoPro Fusion Users Public Group on Facebook or send me a message on 360 VR Voice. I'll be happy to answer your questions.